A few weeks ago, I excited some comment when I made the observation in a talk that the divine nature is fully present everywhere simultaneously, fully present at every point within itself simultaneously. And uh, a couple of people were kind enough to email me and say, whoa. <laughs> That's exactly, whoa. <laughs> how, the, how, could it, how could it be otherwise? So what I want to propose to you, let's take this thing logically. As you know, a lot of times the divine nature, God, the divine nature is an abstraction to us. And we say, well, it's, it's all powerful, and it's all this, and it's worthy of worship. So, but what exactly does it do, and how, did it, how does it get that way? How does it uh, be what it is in, in our lives? So I think we take it logically. If there is such a thing as a God, and I firmly believe there is, but what you believe is entirely up to you. But let's just agree that if there is such a thing, if there is a divine nature and it's almighty and it's everlasting and it's timeless and it's endless and it's deathless and it's changeless, although it contains the potentials for all these things within itself, then it's got to be pretty much everywhere. If it's unopposed, and I think that any God that's worth believing in is unopposed, right? It's not arm wrestling with some, some competing power. It is really all there is. If that's true, then it must be infinite. And if it's infinite, anything infinite has to follow the laws of infinity, has to follow logically the principles of being something that's, that's infinite. What does infinite mean? Not finite. No ending, no limitation. Never runs out of gas, never runs out of steam, wherever it is. Therefore, it encompasses everything. And it does this, it encompasses everything all at the same time. It doesn't run over here and encompass this and then drop that and run over here and encompass that thing and, and keep dashing around doing what it does, but it's doing it all at once. So it's not like when you pray, God is, whoa, and it's like listening. I'm saying whoa a lot today. It's listening to you and, and uh, okay, got it. Now, listen, listen, you're going on a little long. I really have to go because somebody, somebody over here on this other continent needs something. No, it's taking all of this information and it's taking it all simultaneously. It's living fully at every present within itself. And because, we, because it's infinite, we can't really wrap our minds around this because our cognitive conceptualization, all right, our perspective is not in itself infinite because we don't think everything there is to think all at once. We think serially. We speak serially. Select our words, make our point, move on. We deal with life step by step, moment by moment. Because we're coming at it on this plane from very much a finite level. So when the concept of something infinite is presented to us, we have nowhere to put it. We have nothing to relate it to, and so much of our understanding is by relating one thing to another. There's a big, um, there's a big cricket tournament going on right now, and, and the U.S. cricket team rose to the occasion and defeated the far superior team of Pakistan, where cricket is a much bigger deal than here. And the easiest way to understand cricket, which is not easy to understand, it is an extremely complicated game. But the easiest way for people like you and me to understand it is to say, well, it's sort of like baseball. Because baseball grew out of cricket. It's a streamlined version of cricket. You have somebody who pitches and somebody who bats, and you get the idea. So. Everything is pretty much some representation of something else at the finite level, and this is how we understand things. Have you met my friend Joe? No, I don't know your friend Joe. Well, do you know my friend 
Frank. Well, Joe's pretty much like Frank. Oh, okay. Well, then, right? And so it is, right? And, and do you speak a certain language? Well, it's pretty much like another language, and one song is pretty much like another song, but not so much like this one over here. But then when you're talking about an infinite reality, there's absolutely nothing beside it. Not only is it unopposed, it's incomparable. All you can do is lose yourself in it.